Wouldn't it be exciting if we could find a way to create artificial organs that could assist or replace diseased and damaged ones in the body? This would eliminate the long wait times for people who need organs. More than 118,000 people are currently awaiting an organ transplant, and approximately 22 people a day will die before they can receive the life-saving donation. At the Wies Institute, we recently launched a new initiative focused on organ engineering that leverages our expertise in biomaterials, tissue engineering, three-dimensional biofabrication, and stem cell development. Our starting point is the construction of human tissues with embedded vasculature, which is central to every organ's function, research that both myself and Chris Chen have been pioneering. Creating an artificial organ is like building a house. First, we have to figure out the structural scaffolding, the materials that help build and support the tissue. Then, place the plumbing, which would be the vasculature that delivers nutrients and removes waste products from the organ. Next, we can add the electricity, comparable to an organ's nervous system. And finally, we need to populate the structure with organ-specific cells, just like people living in a house. The first challenge is building functional artificial vasculature that provides adequate oxygen and nutrients. The architecture of the vascular tree is specialized for each organ, so we're working on understanding how different patterns of artificial vasculature impact tissue function. And we're studying what cues we need to introduce to get the organ-specific cells and the vasculature to coordinate with each other and assemble into functional tissue architecture. These advances will occur in tandem with the development of printing technologies needed to build organs to scale, which starts with organizing the vasculature, scaffolding, and cell types, which is an area that Jennifer Lewis has spearheaded. At this point, we've managed to co-print cells, extracellular matrices, and the vasculature needed for controlling the local microenvironment that supports the growth and maturation of vascularized human tissues. Now, we are extending these capabilities to create other tubular architectures, such as those found in your kidneys, which can be lined with stem cells that are differentiated into the specific cell types of interest. While we're still in the early stages, we are making foundational advances towards these goals every day. So please, follow us so you can be a part of this exciting journey.